Hello po, good evening po sa lahat and uh, welcome po po another uh, Saturday of Doctrine Service. Ngayong gabi na ito, Lord, eh, uh, we, el- we welcome po everyone uh, sa araw na ito, uh, especially mga early viewers namin, uh, sina John Argonza, sina Garisel Garina, sina John Hermoso, and uh, uh, Pastor Albert Labo is uh, also uh, viewing our service for, for tonight. It's another great night of great discussion po sa topic po natin ngayong gabi. And uh, we are asking you to tag your family, your friends po, and share the live feed. Uh, Nakalive po kami sa FB uh, live stream. And we encourage you to join the conversation po by commenting on the comment section below. And uh, ngayon po, meron po kaming guests. Uh, ang, ang tatawagin ko po ngayong guests na ito ay ang aking uh, wife na si Sister Christy Campita. Hi, good evening po. <laughs> good evening, Papa, Brother June, and I'm so privileged to be here again sa Doctrines. Good oh. evening po sa lahat. Welcome, uh, Sister Christine Campita. At Thank you. Thank you. Ngayong gabi na ito. Uh, dito sa discussion natin ngayong gabi na ito. And uh, before we go po sa uh, ating truth or false, and uh, I will just lead the lead the uh, team uh, in prayer po, uh, opening prayer po namin. So Lord, thank you for tonight that we can come together humbly in your presence, Lord, uh, to spread your word, Lord, to teach your word for tonight. Yung napakahalag yes. po na malaman po ng every follower of Christ and uh, lahat po ng mga viewers na nanonood ngayong gabi, ang inyong salita, na iniwan niyo po sa aming salita to the Bible po, Lord. And we, we also remember, Lord, those who are uh, suffering right now from the devastating earthquake po sa Turkey and Syria. May you give them strength and comfort, Lord, and may you uh, be an avenue, Lord, uh, ang, ang, ang situation na ito that they will not lose hope, but they can come to you uh, in your presence, Lord, in order to be their Lord and Savior. And uh, we also welcome, Lord, yung great revival na nangyayari sa one of the states uh, sa Amerika po. And we just pray, Lord, na uh, marami po pong churches ang mag, um, karoon ng revival. Hindi lang po sa yes, Pilipinas, Lord. hindi sa buong mundo. So yes, thank you, Lord, uh, that we can come together. Mm-hmm. Marami marami salamat po sa nanonood ngayon at mga viewers at lahat po ng guests po namin ngayon. And we have a very special guest po uh, okay. uh, after the teaching. Very special guest po uh, na magdajay yeah. sa atin. So thank mm-hmm. you, Lord, and we give you all the glory for tonight. In Jesus' yes. name we pray. Amen. 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 Gusto naman, Sister Christy. Ang tagal natin din nakita. Oo oh, nga eh. Nangis na kita. <laughs> May ilang oras. Oo. Oh, oh. Yun. Ganda. Maganda yung topic ngayon, no? Brother June. Yes. And oh, uh, before we go on to topic, I will just have to congratulate po yung uh, Encounter God Retreat. It's a very successful yes. event. Yung nangyari yes. po ngayon araw na to na 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Marami pong uh, nakareceive uh, ng salita ng Diyos yung araw na to and uh, na-transform po uh, all of the participants I congratulate and all of the workers yes, yes. congratulations sa kanila congratulations po sa inyo mm-hmm. and uh, before we go to the truth or false statement pinakihintay po ng lahat mm-hmm. pasahin ko muna yung mga iba mga early viewers uh, nandito rin po si na Su- Sister Susan Pasha no yes. not Then, uh, palagi po siyang sumusuporta. Uh-huh. Brother Andy Mihia po, sa sukat po siya. And yes. then si Miss Amy De La Mente, si, si Pastor Danny si po. Si Tita Alice din. Uh, Ay, yung, Tita Alice. <laughs> Kung mag-anak Tita namin. Tita Alice na Menorca. Ay, yan, yeah. yan. So, welcome po and uh, come and join us for tonight. And also, uh, mm. magbibigay lang po muna ako ng recap of what happened last week. yung session po natin na uh, yung, tin- yung tinuro po ni Pastor Danny about uh, God's work of redemption in the book of Exodus. Uh, sabi po sa teaching ni Pastor Danny, his, God's redemptive work appears in four parts po, uh, apat daw po. Uh, ang una po, first, the work of deliverance to bring out the Israelites upon the yoke of slavery from, from the Egyptians. Sabi po kasi ng most Christians, they see redemption as forgiveness of sin lang but to, but to God redemption po is more than forgiveness of sin it has an economic political social and spiritual implications which is nakita po natin doon sa story po ng mga Israelites uh, sa book of Exodus and pangalawa po na uh, part 
is that God will form a godly community. Uh, kaya nga po pinili ni God ang, ang mga Israelites in order that they can be a good example to the surrounding nation, yung mga Gentile nations po. Because He's a holy God. He wants His people to be holy. Kaya sineparate niya po talaga yung Israelites and He chose the Israelites to be uh, uh, in order to have a godly community. And pangatlo po, na part ng redemption work po ni God is to have a continuous relationship with the Israelites. Kaya yeah. nga po, ang daming commandments ni God na binigay in order that they can have a, a relationship with God to follow His commandments. And in turn, yung loving God po ni God ang magbibigay ang, ang blessings po. Uh, he gave His blessings uh, for all the commandments na binigay niya uh, dun sa, sa book of Exodus. And lastly po, He also wants His people to have a good life, promising the land of Canaan. Di po ba? Mm -hmm. The land uh, flowing with milk and honey. So, hindi lang po uh, from the yoke of slavery niligtas ni, Lord, ni, ni God the Father ang mga Israelites. But also, they want to have uh, experience a good life. Kasi po yung Canaan is uh, talagang very fertile land po yun na talaga naman po magpo-flourish ang mga shepherds. At kasi uh, maganda po yung uh, ang environment nila. Yung mga talagang it's suitable for Uh, living at kasanan po yung mga animals. So yun po, yun po ang last session natin uh, last week, yung God's work of redemption. Amen. Amen. So, um, ang topic po natin ngayon, uh, dahil uh, sinusunod-sunod po namin yung uh, devotion po namin for this month, is the doctrine of the Ten Commandments. Yun po wow. yung topic natin. So, bago po tayo pumunta sa video, Uh, magbibigay pa muna ako talaga ng truth or false statement para sa inyo lahat. So answer uh, either it or truth or false sa comment section po. Okay? Ready, ready. na po kayo lahat? Okay. Ready, so, ito ready. Po, ito, po, ito, ready na raw yung... <laughs> Excited. <laughs> Excited daw siya. Lagi ako mali eh. <laughs> so ito po yung una, unang statement. Uh, no human person can obey the laws completely. So, ulitin ka po, ah, no human person can obey the laws completely. Yung mga laws po na binigay ni, ni God the Father uh, during the time of, uh, during the Old Testament days po. So, is it truth or false na no human person can obey the laws completely? Pakiwrite down, Sister Aini, para makita nila yung question din. Uh, before answering po, ito po, nandito pa rin po si Pastor Rogen Padilla uh, and si Pastor Hope Villarte. Uh, Nakabase po siya sa sukat. At si Pastor Rogen naman po sa Malibay. Ayan po, may sumagot na. Si Brother uh, Hope. Si Brother Hope is si true. Si Pastor Andy Mia po, truth. Si Brother uh, Hope, truth din. Si Pastor Hope, oo. Oh, oh. Pastor Hope, truth din. Si Garisel, si Karina. Si Alice, truth. True. Si Garisel, truth. Oh, yan po, truth. Si Tita Emma, truth. Only Jesus. Si Sister Tracy May, truth. Si Amy, truth din. And si Micheline, truth. Si Papsi. Si po. Brother John Hermoso, truth din. Wow, lahat sila, truth. Truth ano ba? Uh, we can go now to the answer. Ano answer this week? Sister Ako. Sabi mo, kasi uh, during sa Old Commandment, di ba? Old Testament, truth talaga. Dahil ano, wala, mahirap talagang sundin, no? Kahit isa doon, meron kang na minsan na didisobey mo. Di ba? Okay. Sa so, tama ba? No, truth. Ang sagot, <laughs> truth. Kasi may explanation ka naman, eh. Mm -mm. Na, uh, talaga namang hindi makakasunod yung mga Israelites doon sa laws na binigay ni, ni God the Father sa kanila. Pero in, in the other... Uh, ang other answer po is false. Ah. Uh, sabi nga po ni Pastor Dan, uh, totoo naman po, kasi no human person talaga, according to the Jewish tradition, there are 613 laws found in the Torah. That is why uh, mahirap po talagang sundin yun. Kaya lang po, mm -hmm. ang kaya sinabi po uh, na false, it's because uh, since Jesus Christ uh, came uh, sa atin, in order to uh, redeem us from our sins, di po ba si, si Lord Jesus Christ is God human and mm -hmm. He's the only human who can obey the laws completely, perfectly. 
uh, is our perfect God and uh, talaga naman po, siya lang po ang makaka-obey sa laws mm -hmm. na ginawa ni, ni God the Father. Sabi mm -hmm. nga dito ba? So, yun po ang explanation uh, why St. Paul's. Pero, uh, kung ang perception niyo po talaga yung uh, no human person, yung talagang human po talaga, hindi sila God. Uh, talaga po, tama rin naman po yung ano nyo, yung sagot nyo. Kasi talaga naman po tayo as a human, uh, we cannot Uh, we cannot completely obey the law. It's only Jesus Christ who can as a perfect sacrifice both because we cannot obey the laws completely. So, yun po ang sagot. So, salamat po sa mga sagot. Sabi nga ni Sister Garesel, uh, truth, all the commandments of God uh, make me Paul realize that they need a Savior who can make them right before God. Before God. Amen. Yeah. Thank you sa so, comment ni Sister Garesel. And shout out po kay, sis, kay Brother Joey Alonso. And, and yes, and si Kay. Si Kay. Si Kay Tanyag. Hi, Kay. Hi. Ito namin last week. Si Kay. Uh -oh. Nanonood din po siya. So, thank you for watching. Sa, sabi po ni Pastor Dan, uh, the comment is great. Kay Sister yeah, Garcia. So, another. Yeah. So, pero pa po tayong isa. Na May na? Po, statement. <laughs> wow. Well, bago tayo mag... Uh, Uh, punta sa topic po natin ngayon bago, bago, bago po namin ibigay yung topic, yung video teaching na, namin. Ito po ah, pangalawang statement po, salvation does require obedience to the law. So, salvation does require obedience to the law. Is it truth or false? Tama po ba? After salvation, salvation does require obedience to the law. Hirap naman. Sinagot ni, eh, <laughs> natin ni Sister Amy, salvation does require obedience yeah. to the Lord. Is it truth or false? Wow, sumagot na si Brother Andy, Brother June. Truth. 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 Okay. Meron pa po ang sasagot? Meron pa ang malakasang. Malakasang. <laughs> oh, si Sister Emma. Oh, Emma false. false po. Ayan. Ayan. Ganda to. Maganda yung ano natin na to. O si Amy, truth. Amy, si Sister truth. Amy, truth. truth. Ang lakas din ng loob. Ang loob ni Sister Amy sa magagandang truth. Yan. Sino pa? Ito ka yung ano, explanation. Sa Alice, false. Ito sa comment. Si Tita Alice, false po. Si, tita, si, ati, si Sister Garisel, truth. Meron siyang reason. That's why we need someone who can obey it for us. Yan. Si Pastor Hope, uh, truth din. And si Doc Jan Argonza. False. Ba? Ang lakas ng doti. Doc Jan Argonza na mag-false. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, ang ano correct answer, Christy? Sister Christy? Para sa akin, ha? Sa akin is truth din. Mm -hmm. Oo. Ano kasi, ano, ang explanation ko doon kasi, uh, sabi kasi ni Lord Jesus Christ doon sa John 14, 15, di ba? If you love me, you will obey my law. And if you believe in God. Si God yung nagbigay nung ano eh, nung law eh. Dapat kang sumunod doon talaga doon sa law. Amen. So para sa akin. Yeah, Truth well, ako. Nagbigay pa ng passage kasi. <laughs> John 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Sabi yes, po ng yeah. Lord Jesus Christ. Ang sagot po is true. So Christ, kasi po si Christ fulfilled the law in our place perfectly po. So mm -hmm. when we place our faith, We are, we are just vibing faith in Christ. We are given His status as the perfect law keeper. Ah. Yung status okay. niya po na, 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 na i-reflect sa atin as a perfect law keeper. Though we are far from it, hindi po, hmm. hindi po tayo perfect, yes, Lord Jesus Christ lang. Hmm. That is why in the New Testament, uh, it tells us that we are no longer under the law, hmm. but under grace. You can find Amen. that passage po in Romans chapter 6, verse 14. But still, God requires our our obedience, just as any good father does. Ah, yun nga sabi ng ani sister Christy. If you love me, keep my commandments. So no one lives ah in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has neither seen him or known him. So hindi tayo mapapatuloy kasi nakakilala nako tayo kay Lord. So we also require obedience to the law because of in Jesus Christ we are justified by faith. Yes. So, yun po. Uh, yun okay. po is good. True. 
And maraming salamat po sa mga nag-comment. Sabi ni yes, Pastor Hope. Ayan pa, ayan po. Inulit po ni Pastor Hope in John 14 verse 15. And then si Mikaelin uh, Kahigas Hoktod, may post po kasi from human lang. Ayan po ang sabi niya. Uh, thank you po sa comment nyo. And then, uh, sabi po ni Pastor Dan, siyempre EGR speaker yan si Doc Jan. Ayan. <laughs> ayan. Uh, Minention out niya po si Doc Jan. So, uh, without further ado, ipapalabas na po natin yung video teaching namin ng Doctrine of the Ten Commandments. So, pagkatapos po ng teaching, we will have a very special guest who will join us in our discussion. So, yes. Kayo, ha? hintayin niyo po after the teaching. Yes. So, Amy, can you play the video? Good evening, everyone. When speaking about the Old Testament or about God's will for humans, often the term Ten Commandments appears. But what is the meaning of these Ten Commandments and what are they about? Let me give you a short historical background of why these Ten Commandments were given to the Israelites. The history of Israel as a nation started when God rescued them out of the land of Egypt, out of the place of slavery. God had promised to guide them towards the land of Canaan, which had been promised to their ancestors as an everlasting possession. You can see the story on Genesis chapter 17, verse 8. But before they entered this land, God established a covenant with the Israelites. The Ten Commandments are the terms of this covenant. The commandments about our relation to God. The first four commandments kept the Lord God as the focus. God created the world and everything in it. He knew what was required for a successful holy life. The first commandment is, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. The second commandment speaks about idolatry. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. The third commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless, who takes his name in vain. The initial commandments start with the relationship with the Lord your God in Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. God told his people he was their Lord, their master, and the creator God. They should have no other gods, and they should not make idols. They should not misuse his name. These commands were a dramatic change from the Egyptian view of a deity. During captivity in Egypt, they worshipped Pharaoh and other Egyptian deities like Ra, Anubis, and Osiris. When God gave his first commandment to the Israelites, he was telling them that he was the only true God and not just one more God to add to their list. Today, we can allow many things to become gods to us, like money, fame, work, or pleasure can become gods when we, con when we concentrate too much on them for personal identity, meaning, and security. The amount of time we devote to them can grow into gods that ultimately control our thoughts and energies. Letting God be the center of our lives keeps these things from turning into gods. The third commandment says not to misuse the name of the Lord. God's name is holy because it carries his personal identity. We should respect his name and use it appropriately speaking in praise and worship rather than in curse or jest or in a dialogue in a movie that takes God's name in vain. If the movie characters address a God they don't believe exists, then what value is there? The heart of taking God's name begins and ends with the lack of knowledge of who God is or a disregard for his reverence. 
The fourth commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Sabbath bridges our relationship with God. And the following commandments address our relationships with other people. God commanded his people to take the Sabbath for their benefit. God wants us to delight in his word, enjoy his creation, celebrate beauty and love, and rejoice in the harvest. God intended for his people to enjoy their relationship with him and each other by valuing the Sabbath. We are not to be hard on Christians who are working on the Sabbath day. They might be working for a lot of reasons, to earn a living for their family. Their company has given them a different set of days for rest and a lot more. The important thing is that their hearts want to worship and honor God every day of their Christian life. Then there will be the commandments about our relationship to other people. Now meditate on these laws and imagine how they would help develop a healthy community. The people, the fifth commandment, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Our relationship with our parents is the foundation for our future relationships and choices. Here's how Paul explained to new believers in Ephesians that the choice to honor your parents has consequences like enjoying a long life. Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Look at verse 1. It says, Obey your parents in the Lord. Now, do children have to obey their parents if they are telling their children to do something bad for them to become rich? Absolutely not. Parents are their kids' first teachers. Kids learn to honor their parents by seeing their parents honor God and His commandments. After establishing a healthy relationship with God and the family, the next commandments dealt with relationships with other people starting on the sixth commandment you shall not murder god commanded his people to not murder because people are made in the image of god life has value murder is an intentional act that says that a person's life has no value compared to another priorities interestingly god did not say do not kill hebrew has nuances that consider the difference between murder and accidental death or an act of war this also answers our questions why a compassionate god allowed the israelites to kill the inhabitants of canaan it is because of their wickedness we must remember that god is also a god of justice the, un the inhabitants of Canaan reached the peak of their sins and idolatry to other so-called gods, much like Sodom and Gomorrah. The seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Paul explained to the Corinthians how to avoid sexual immorality by being faithful to one's spouse. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relationship with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. For the Eighth Commandment, you shall not steal. God's people were also commanded to not steal. The Israelites were to respect each other's property rights. The Ninth Commandment, you shall not burst full witness against your neighbor. Colossians 3 verse 9 to 10 says, Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. A lying tongue and a false witness 
who speaks lies are two of the seven things that the Lord hates. Proverbs 6, verse 16 to 19. And the Ten Commandment, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. Why should God include coveting in the same list as murder, stealing, and adultery? God knew coveting a neighbor's servant, ox, or wife was a stepping stone to ungratefulness and discontentment. Even lying, stealing, murder, and adultery. Focusing on what others have diminishes our ability to appreciate the good things in our lives. So what is the importance of Ten Commandments in Christianity? The law given to Moses provided the foundation for a new Israelite, Israelite society. They provided the foundation of personal and property rights found in our modern legal system. Jewish tradition holds that all 613 laws found in the Torah are summed up in the Ten Commandments. These commandments serve as a guide that point us to the straight and narrow path while showing us our need for a Savior. God gave the Ten Commandments to the people of the Old Testament covenant. Despite this and because of sin continues to exist in the world, the New Testament affirms that the Ten Commandments are still essential laws that should govern a Christian's life today. The Christian view the Ten Commandments as the foundation of God's moral law. Jesus called people to an even higher standard by obeying the commandments, not only in their actions, but also in their hearts. For instance, Jesus quoted the command not to commit adultery in Exodus 20 verse 14. He said, you have heard that what that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus said, I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. The Ten Commandments serve not only as a moral code of conduct for today's Christian, but as a reminder that we are all in need of a Savior because no one can perfectly abide by all of the commandments all of the time. Jesus himself identified the main thread running through the Ten Commandments with a single word, and that is love. Jesus explained that the commandments require a committed and humble love of God and a committed and humble love of our fellow men. Paul expanded this amazing theme of love when he wrote that the commandments against adultery, murder, stealing, and coveting are summed up in one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. The fact that love is the binding theme of the Ten Commandments is no surprise when we consider God's perfect love for his creation. Just as a loving parent lays down ground rules for his child to follow, to lead a safe and successful life, God the Father gave us the Ten Commandments to help us lead our best lives with regard to the relationships that matter most, our relationship with him, and our relationship with each other. God bless everyone. Ayan po, so ayan, ang doctrine of the Ten Commandments po. Uh, uh, we will now go to our discussion uh, questions or statements po. Yeah. Uh, elaborate po namin uh, ni na Sister Christy at ng aming special guest. And our special guest po, ayan po, nagko-connect na po. Yes. Excited <laughs> na tayo sa ating special guest. Ayan. ayan. Po, so, okay. Hey. Pastor, welcome po, Pastor Albert. Hello. Hello po. Good evening, good evening. Good evening po. Um, good evening, po, Pastor. Nakasama po namin kayong gabi um, dito sa discussion question. So, yes, thank you, thank you. The doctrine of the Ten Commandments. Okay, so... Yeah. Go ahead po, Pastor. Baka may yeah, thank you. Well, thank you muna. And uh, I appreciate the invitation. And of course, uh, we wish Pastor Danny to to uh, to recover. And uh, sabi ko nga kanina, nung pinapakiko ko kayong dalawa, eh, 
hindi lang talaga kayo uh, pang uh, ano tawag dito <laughs> <laughs> pang doctrine pa hindi lang pang pamilya pang doctrine <laughs> pang doctrine praise God <laughs> praise God po ayan po may mga bago po tayong viewers sina brother Greg Camiling po nanonood po sa ah, atin Mr. Elmer Lasco uh, ayan po si brother Dante Bing Quezon yan good evening ah, po sa inyong lahat good evening po sa inyong lahat welcome po sa ating doctrine service So, we will now go for our uh, discussion statements or questions po. So, ito po yung first discussion question namin. Is the Ten Commandments still relevant for today? Provide po your insights. So, mauna po muna si ating senior pastors, Pastor Albert. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. By the way, ang ganda na nung teaching kanina. No? I think it, it really gave na talagang a full uh, perspective no? ng Ten Commandments. No? Kasi, Uh, merong mga nagsasabing hey, we are already under grace di ba? hindi na kailangan yan ibig sabihin now we are free to to do whatever we want uh, uy mali yun dahil as Christians you know niligtas ka na nga ng Lord so dapat ang ang motivation mo actually is to is to obey God no? dahil you realize naku napaka makasalanan ko pala I do not deserve God's salvation God sent His Son Jesus to die for me So, considering all of that, dapat ang motivation mo, Lord, I will live for you for the rest of my life. Diba? Parang ganun. Mali yung iniisip na, Oy, ligtas na ako. So, yay! Pwede ko nang gawin lahat ng gusto kong gawin. <laughs> so, totoo, totoo. Mali, mali actually yun. Eh. Oo, it reveals mali yung puso yeah. mo. Dahil, yes. dahil, in fact, noong time pa lang ng Apostles, si Apostle Paul lalo na, no? uh, nirebuke niya yung ganung pag-iisip. Eh. No? In, his, in his many writings, sinasabi niya na, You know, uh, hindi dapat ganun mag-isip because the flesh, you know, hindi hindi yan characteristic of a Christian yung flesh. Dapat yung mm -hmm. fruit of the spirit. And the fruit of the spirit is love. You know, na-mention mga yes. brother John kanina, no? na love for God, love for others. So, therefore, the commandments of God are still very relevant and very useful. Yes. Yes. And we have to follow it because, pero ang motivation natin, iba na. Yes. Ang motivation natin, You know, why do you go to church? Diba? Why do you give your offering? Why do you pray? Why do you worship? Dati, nung lumalaki tayo, nung bata ako, ganyan, ang motivation ko is, syempre naman, para, para ma-earn -ma ko yung favor ng Diyos. Diba? Para, para ma-earn ko yung kaligtasan niya. Ngayon, hindi na yun ang motivation. Kasi alam ko, mahal ako ng Diyos eh. Just as I am, sabi nga. And diligtas na ako sa pamamagitan ni Kristo. So ang motivation ko is, Lord, this is really an act of thankfulness. Nagpapasalamat ako. Mm -hmm. An act of worship. So kaya ako gina sinusunod ang mga utos mo dahil mahal kita. Dahil minahal mo muna ako, you love me first. So yun. So yes, very relevant sa ating mga Christian. <laughs> Yes. Thank you po, Pastor yes. Arlen. Napakaganda po ng uh, sinabi niyo po para sa ating mga viewers. I think that explains well po uh, dun sa question po ni Uh, Sister uh, Emma Villa, sabi niya po kasi, uh, di ba salvation is by faith in Jesus, not by obedience of the law? So mm -hmm. sabi niya po ni Pastor Albert, we are, no, we are no longer under the law po, but under mm -hmm. the grace. But mm -hmm. since we love Jesus Christ and we are justified by faith, mm -hmm. uh, sinusunod po natin yung laws ni Lord Jesus, ni Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Sabi nga, di ba, ang Ten Commandments daw po, eh, it can be summed up in two great commandments. Mm. Uh, first one, love your, 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 love your uh, God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And also, mm. uh, second greatest commandment is love thy neighbor as yourself. So, yeah. you know, yes. people natin yun because of our love and mm -hmm. our gratefulness book in Lord Jesus Christ to save us. How about yeah. you, Sister Christy? Anong may dadagin? Ako, ang masasabi ko talagang very relevant siya kasi if we come to think of it, yung mga problems natin ngayon sa mundo, it's because talagang hindi natin ino obey yung commandments ni God. And pag tinitignan ko din tong mga commandments na to, no, I agree with ano, Pastor Albert, parang pag titira mo, parang napakahirap, parang ang hirap naman gawin yan, maano ko ba lahat yan? But because of what our Lord Jesus Christ did, no? dahil yun sa pag-love niya sa atin, nagiging magaan for us na hindi lang nga, hindi na yung selfish motives natin yeah. no 
but because of our love to us and the more na naiintindihan natin yon pero kung pero kung magagawa natin talaga no na inoobey natin talaga si Lord yung mga problems natin ngayon even lahat yung corruptions yung mga murder ah mm-hmm. uh, ang laking ma maano ma, mawawala na problema sa mundo yes. kung talaga inoobserve natin yung laws yeah. ni God tama yeah. and in fact di ba if if i may uh, if you will allow me to quote Yeah. First, first John chapter 5, no, verse 3. Sabi ni Apostle John, no? In fact, this is love for God to keep yeah. His commands. Yes. And itong, pero yung second part, maganda eh. And His commands are not burdensome. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pero mabigat, no? Yeah. Pero may sinabi niya yung dahilan. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. So yung yes. pala yun. Burdensome ang commands ng Diyos sa taong wala, wala si Kristo sa buhay. Yeah. Mabigat talaga. I mean, mm-hmm. diba? Diba? May, may, may awit, di ba? Gusto kong bumae, pero di ko magawa. <laughs> pero, pag pala daw you are born of God, you are born again, yes. Christ lives in you. Yeah. The commands are not burdensome. Hindi kayong, ay, ay, na kong hindi. Hindi, talaga, it's a joy. Not, yes. That's kaya sabi nung psalmist, na, na, the law of the Lord, di ba? Sabi nga nun, oh, how I love your law. Wow, nalalove mo pala yung law of God, no? Pero yun ay dahil si Christ is in you. Yeah. Yes, totoo amen. po. Amen, amen talaga. Actually po, um, ano eh, um, hindi lang po uh, religious context. It cannot only be limited to religious context itong the Ten Commandments. It was mm-hmm. it will serve also as our ethical principles po that can be applied to many aspects of life, like personal relationship po, uh, whether you go to mm-hmm. business or you to work. Itong mga principles mm. na, na po na ito, it can guide people to make better decisions and act with yeah. integrity and responsibility. So, napakaganda right. po ng oh. commandments oh. ni God. Oh. Totoo, totoo po. In, in fact, Brother June and Sister Christy, the, all the nations of the world, kumbaga, hindi man nila sinasabi dahil, syempre, mm. Bible. So, ayaw mm. nilang sabihin na Bible. No? Mm. Pero, the laws of the land ng iba-ibang yeah. bansa have, have real basis, no? Sa commands, for example lang, very clear ano dyan, yung Sabbath. Eh. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Wala kang bansang makikita na kinokomand ang mga tao na pitong araw magtrabaho. Walang ganun. Walang, <laughs> walang, walang bansa na gagawin Ito, yun. Dahil, Ito, yun. Dahil alam, at walang kumpanya. Wala. Kasi mm-hmm. magre-resign ang tao pag pinagtrabaho mo ng pitong araw. Yes. Because alam nila, you need a day of rest. no A day for yourself and a day to exercise mm-hmm. your faith. So mm-hmm. kumbaga, yun lang kitang-kita na na lahat ng bansa sinusunod yung command na yun. <laughs> yes, totoo po. Lahat. Ang galing, no? Sabi nga po ni Pastor Danny, basahin ko, sabi niya, imagine yeah. a world when humans obey the commandments. Yeah. Imagine nga naman talaga. Talagang mm-hmm. ano. Pagaganda po ng society. Uh, oh. um, sinunod po natin talaga yung mga commandments. Yeah. Lord. Correct, correct. Oo. Okay. Okay. And, and meron pa, di ba? Meron pa siyang ano, comments, Pastor Dan, Christy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sabi niya, against the human nature, the new nature makes obedience a joy. Yung, mm-hmm. Parang yung sinabi kanina ni Pastor Albert mm-hmm. na hindi nagiging burdensome yung pag, uh, mm-hmm. pag-follow mo if you are a child of God, if you know mm-hmm. yung si Lord sa buhay mo. Mm-hmm. Yan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 Of, uh, insights and reflections po na naibigay ni Pastor Albert at ni Sister oh, Christy. Right. So thank, thank you rin you. po sa mga comments ni Pastor Danny at mga iba pong viewers. Sige mag-comment yeah. pa po kayo. Yan. Oh. Ayun po, and, and ito po meron kaming second uh, discussion question. Yes. Uh, ito po yung second question namin, ano? Uh, why did other religious groups omitted the second commandment? You shall not make yourselves a card image. So bigat siya. Pero ito. Ito. <laughs> sino ba sino ba nagsusulat ng mga tanong eh? Oh my. Pahala. Si Albert mo na very delicate. Pero kaya ko si Pastor Albert. Oh, <laughs> oh. Alam alam mo brother Jun, 'di ba? Uh, tayo namang halos lahat we grew up, you know, yeah. in a particular religious environment at malamang nag-aral tayo sa mga schools na Bata pa tayo, alam mo naalala ko sa sa school namin, hindi lang yung alphabet at yung numbers ang nakapaskil doon sa sa wall, no? Pati yung Ten Commandments na andun. Yun ang naalala ko, eh. Uh, I mean, as early as prep or grade 1, grade 2, nandun na siya yung Ten Commandments na andun. And, and hindi ko alam na yung sinasabi mo ngayon, hindi ko ala, hindi ako aware 
Okay. Yung time na yun. Kasi hindi naman yeah. ako nagbabasa ng Bible. Yes, di ba? Oh. Hindi ako aware na, oh, may, parang meron nga nawala. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. So, then when I was born again and I started reading the Bible, and talagang you go down verse by verse, marirealize mo, ay ba, oo oh, nga, ano, ba't, ba't parang nawala yun, you know? So, and then, nadoble yung dulo para maging mm-hmm. ten, di ba? Para maging okay. ten, yung do not covet na split into two. Split into two. Do, not, yes. do not covet your neighbor's wife, yun yung isa. Do not covet your neighbor's house, oxen, mm-hmm. ganun, ganun, ganun. Mm-hmm. So, pero kung titingnan mo yung flow ng commands, napaka-clear na dapat nandun yun eh. Apo. So, ang the only reason we can think of is because uh, nava-violate siya. So, para mukhang hindi violation, tanggalin na lang natin. So, so parang <laughs> uh, para, hindi, para hindi mo mapansin na nava-violate, tanggalin na lang, ma- mawala na lang talaga yung verse na yun. Parang ganun. Yeah. Yes. So, but whether we remove it or not, Uh, as far as God is concerned, hindi dapat yeah. gawin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, tama po. How about you, Sister Christy? Ano may dadagdag? Noong una, naisip ko rin, para rin ni Pastor Albert, parang pag tinig na mo siya, parang, o oh, nga, no, parang lahat siya about kay God, eh. about loving the Lord, and siyempre, kasama na doon, na hindi ka na mag, ano, mag uh, babaw down to other, to worship, ganon. Mm-hmm. Pero pag uh, in-analyze mo talaga siya, hindi, they are separate separate talaga yung command na yun. Na you have to love your God, but then you shall not make yourself a carved image. Kasi uh, makikita, mababasa natin pag binasa mo pa ulit further yung mga words ni God, makikita mo talaga na it's very obvious that it's idolatry. So kaya, ano talaga, so siguro, kaya na, na ano yun, na, gamit, na ginawa ng iba, ng religious, siguro nakasanayan na hindi nila alam kung paano tatanggalin dahil maaring mawalan talaga sila ng maraming members, maaring ganun. And meron din akong narinig na iba na nalaman din sa history din, na nung panahon na yun is, di ba uso yung nananakop ng bansa or what, and they use it as a political ano din uh, para mas madaling lang makuha yung mga tao. They allow it na mag-worship sila sa ganun. So so yun yun siguro ibang factors noon. Pero yun yeah. nga uh, praise God that we have this no brother yun napakaganda ng teaching mo actually. Uh, so proud <laughs> proud yeah. of my thing. Wow. <laughs> Pero ang ganda talaga it's really for Dan. <laughs> I thank Pastor Dan and uh, our church uh-huh, for having yeah. these doctrines. It really helped us uh-huh. to ano Amen. to study the scriptures which is also in obedience to God's command. To study yung yeah. scriptures din. Okay. Oh, yun po. So tama naman po kasi si Pastor Albert nung nung oh. di, pa, di pa tayo nagbabasa ng Bible. Ah, ako, ako rin po minsan di po alam 'yun eh. Na nahati yung mm-hmm. yung yung Ten Commandments into two. Yung kasi memorize ko 'yan eh nung ano eh nung elementary ako eh, sabi ko, ah, uh, that shall not covet your uh, neighbor's house, that shall not covet your neighbor's good. So nine and ten nahati po 'yun. Uh, kaya lang po kasi meron tayong mga passages sa Bible that can prove yung idolatry po talaga. Kagaya po ng Isaiah uh, chapter 44 verse 13 to 20. Ang context po nun is that uh, a craftsman po cuts a cedar or wood and then ginawa niya, it burns it to keep himself warm para mainitan po yung sarili niya and make food for himself. So pinanggatong niya, tapos nagluto siya doon sa kinat niyang wood. And then the rest of po, yung remaining, he makes it into a God, carbon yeah. image, falls down and worship, pray and says, deliver me, you are my God. So yun po yung idolatry na hindi po pinapayagan ni Lord, yung ni God the Father. Yung, kaya nga po nandun sa second commandment yun eh, that you must not make any images. Uh, from above and from stone or from wood or under anything or any any images at all. Tapos may uh, Pastor Albert allow me na meron din po kasi silang sinasabi um uh, uh, we love we love those people lo. Uh, hindi po ako nagaano nagko-contra. I'm just uh, uh, giving some facts and information na uh, binigay rin naman po ng other religious groups. Ang sabi po kasi nila kaya nila inumit or uh, nawala. It's because sabi niya uh, God will not contradict himself because he instructed Moses daw po to have uh, to make a cherubim of gold. Di po ba? Yung yung uh, Exodus 25 verse 
mm-hmm. na sinabi niya, parang image daw po yun. Sabi ng, mm-hmm. ng that religious group, it, uh, na hindi kinakontradict ni God yung sarili niya. Kaya nga dapat na wala yung yung iyong ano na yung second commandment na yon. Hmm. Kaya lang po, sabi nga sabi nga na po namin, may mga other passages po to prove that that is idolatry yung mga yung ano po, yes. yung yung uh, second commandment binigay oh. and, and and not only that, nung sinabi naman ng Dios kay Moses yon, yun ay kumaga decorative, ibig sabihin. Kaya maraming utos eh tungkol sa kurtina, tungkol oh. sa alam mo yon, yeah. kung ano yung magiging itsura ng tabernacle ano, at okay. na eventually will become the temple. Pero wala naman sinabi ang Diyos na na ya, lumuhod kayo doon sa kurtina. Uh, <laughs> lumuhod kayo doon sa poste. Yes. Lumuhod kayo. Wala namang ganun. So all of those are decorative kasi God is a glorious, grandios God. Parang gusto niyang sabihin sa mga tao, kung gagawan niyo ako ng bahay, gawin niyo ako ng maganda. <laughs> Parang talagang may ginto, may silver, may ganyan. You know? Pero never naman sinabi ng Diyos na at yumuko kayo doon at you know ang gawin niyo so in fact diba may may isa pang ginagamit na verse diyan eh yung no may mga ahas na naglabasan para kagatin yung mga tao diba sabi yes, ng yes. Dios kay Moses gumawa ka nung yung yung staff diba uh, maglagay ka ng uh, ng uh, snake doon snake. sa taas at whoever looks up to that snake you know will will be healed ganun so kita mo na oh Uh, kita mo, pina- pinayagan pa ng Diyos yun. Um, Pero actually, later on, pinasira ng Diyos yun. Eh, dahil nga, they started to worship uh, that thing. So, um, and consistent ng Diyos, no? Until you get to the New Testament. Even the apostles, no? Pag yung mga tao lumuluhod sa kanila, ano yung sinasabi nila? Uy, tumayo kayo. Uh, yeah. uh, hindi, hindi kami Diyos, ha? Si, si Paul and si Silas, nagluhuran yung mga tao sa kanila, no? Si Peter, si Cornelius, lumuhod kay Peter. You know? So lahat ng apostles palagi sasabihin, Uy, tumayo kayo. Huwag nyo, nyo kami sasambahin. Kasi we are only human. Ngayon, kung yung apostles mismo ang nagsasabi na we're only human, eh sila buhay, ano? Yung pa kayang bagay na hindi naman nakakagalaw, nakakakita, you know? Uh, diba? A, a, a statue, sabi nga sa Psalm 115, they have eyes but cannot see, they have ears but cannot hear. They have hands, they cannot feel, they have feet, but they cannot walk. So, napaka-dangerous na it it takes our heart away from the living God, no? Yes. And, and to to bow down to an object. Na ito, sa pang nakakatawang pero nakakalungkot na napanood ko, this was many years ago, sa GMA News or kung saan man, ano, may nasusunog na barangay. So, yung mga tao, siyempre, mga bumbero, hmm. nagtatakbuhan. Pinipigilan nila yung isang lola no? kasi sabi niya, papasok ako doon sa bahay ko. Sabi ng mga bumbero, siyempre, delikado kasi mababagsak na yung bahay. Ito yung sabi ng lola, no? kailangan kong iligtas yung Diyos ko. Sabi niya ganun. Kailangan kong iligtas yung Diyos ko. Can you imagine, no? Siya, siya ang magliligtas sa Diyos. Eh hindi ba Diyos ang nagliligtas sa atin? Ano? Parang na- nabaliktad, ano? Nabaliktad. Because nga, yung mga bagay na yon kailangan mong iligtas kasi yes. they cannot move on their own kailangan mo silang iligtas so, yes. but purihin ang Diyos na ang Diyos natin buhay amen uh, hindi mo siya kailangan iligtas eh, siyang amen. magliligtas sa atin amen actually there is a lot of factors po din talaga kasi I believe yung mga statues and uh, yung mga ginagawa po nung araw uh, that is a flourishing business po eh nung panahon nila eh mm-hmm. uh, nung nagpunta si Paul sa Greece talaga nakita niya napakaraming images because mm-hmm. the flourish po talaga mm-hmm. ano na yun, yes. yung, yung trabaho na yan kasi kumikita kumikita sila so kaya nga nung, nung sinasabi na talaga na uh, do not make uh, any image talaga galit sila kasi nga mawalan sila ng word so true history po mm-hmm. talaga may nangyari sa church kaya siguro uh, yeah. nakuit nila yung ganang yung yung yes. uh, yung uh, yeah. Na Oo. And it has proven, di ba, Brother June, Sister Christy, nasa New Testament, yeah. yung example nga na yun, yung during sa Greece. Pero throughout history, kung makikita mo, it's a very profitable uh, enterprise. Mm. Yes. Diba? Uh, bata, bata pa tayo, oh. kung ano-ano yung binibili natin, di ba? Uh, mm. Isasabit mo sa leeg mo, ilalagay mo sa kotse, ilalagay mo sa yeah. bahay, ilalagay mo sa wallet. So lahat yun, you know, Kumbaga, it is very uh, profitable dahil lahat 'yon bini wala naman libre doon ano, 'di ba? Yes, Binibili 'yon eh. So, whoever makes those things is you know, is, is also a, a business, 'di ba? 
Pumakin. Yes po. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Can I read po some ano rin? Uh, yes, yes. So, uh, yes answer yes, dito. Yes. Sabi ni Sister Garcet, if you look at different cultures, almost each one has idols representing their gods. Yeah. And then sabi ni Tracy May, hmm. I think without Jesus, human can manipulate the law. We can fake it like only obeying in front of others or maybe obeying because we want something and expecting in return. We mm. can choose what to obey and omit or add into law. But if the Lord Jesus Christ is the main reason why we obey the law, our out of gratitude to what he has done and through the sanctification of the Holy Spirit, obedience can be done despite the challenges in this world. Amen. Ganda, no? Mm. Na po ng comment ni Ms. Yes. Sister Casey. Yes. And yeah. po. Okay. Okay. So, any more additions, yeah. Sister Christy? Okay na po. Uh, okay na. So, okay. let's go to okay. our application po, Pastor Albert and Sister yeah, Christy. Yeah. So, what is the role of Jesus Christ in the Ten Commandments? How do the Ten Commandments apply in our Christian life today? Oh, no. Pastor uh, <laughs> Alam mo yung... Praise uh, God, si Pastor uh, Albert. Na mention na ito. No? <laughs> <laughs> kung, kung si PDV na dito, mas maganda yung paliwanag yan. Pero uh, doon sa comments kanina, magaganda rin yung mga comments mm -hmm. doon. Na talagang uh, no human being, apart from Christ, no? Kasi Christ is the God who became flesh, no? Pero no human being born from Adam until the return of Christ. Uh, wala talagang makasunod completely the law of God. Sabi nga ni James sa epistle, even if you obey the entire law and stumble in only one, what, isa lang sumablay ka sa isa. You violated the whole yes. thing. Parang kumbaga, by one take one pala lahat siya. You know? uh -huh. By one take all. Pero purihin ang Diyos na nakita nga niya na hindi natin magagawa. So he sent his son as the perfect sacrifice who perfectly obeyed. Uh, I, I remember, you know, uh, teaching one time yung sa uh, Beatitudes, saka doon sa Sermon on the Mount. Remember, Jesus said, uh, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, yeah. you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So, Diyos ko, paano ka namang lalagpa sa Pharisee? Eh, yung Pharisee, lahat na lang ng utos, eh, sinusunod, mitikuloso, di ba? Well, two, re two ways. One is that mali yung motivation nila, eh, yung heart nila, di ba? Pakitang tao lang lahat yun, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. But second also, is that uh, hindi naman talaga nila nasusunod eh. Kunwari lang, sabihin, they hide their own sinfulness para sa harap ng tao parang napaka mababae eh, pero hindi naman. So, the only way to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees is to have the righteousness of Christ in you. Kasi si Christ lang talaga ang nakafulfill fulfill ng the entire law of God. No? So, so to, uh, 2 Corinthians 5.21, no? God made him, Jesus, who knew no sin, to become a sin offering for us so that in Christ we will become the righteousness of God. So, mm -hmm. yung righteousness ng Diyos hindi mo talaga makukuha on your own effort. You know, it can only be achieved through faith in Christ. Amen. But now that Christ is in you, sundin na natin ang Diyos, di ba? Mahalin yes. natin siya. Sundin natin yes. siya. Yes. Amen. Uh, Amen. Yeah. Oh, ako po, ano naman ta talaga, uh, very... Grateful ako kasi sabi nga 'di ba sa Ephesians 2:8 nan it is by grace you have been saved talaga. And uh, mm. and we know that this laws brings death. Kasi if you will not obey talagang mamamatay mm. kayo. Makikita natin sa Ten Commandments. Yes. But because mm. of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and all. We have life. Yeah. We have life and we are assured of that life. And ang application nito sa akin mm. is very important talaga na maibahagi natin to that's why we have these missions that's why we have this uh, mm. we have a church for them to know na mm. na meron silang pag-asa kasi nakaka-depress po eh pag kamisan may isa ka lang doon na hindi magawa di ba but because we know Jesus Christ yeah. uh, nagawa na to ni Lord Jesus Christ napakalaking bagay nun sa atin mm. so Praise God and I thank God Amen. forever grateful sa binigay na ito ng buhay ng Panginoon. Amen. So sa akin naman po talaga, sabi ka ni Pastor Albert, uh, yung, yung Ten Commandments po talaga, ang uh, other commandments po na ginawa ni God in the Old Testament, uh, hindi po yun, uh, hindi po yun dinidelete ni Lord Jesus Christ nung dumating siya. It enhances the law. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yung, kaya nga po nung dumating siya talagang 
kailangan yung 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 mga commandments ni God the Father talaga in-enhance pa niya talaga. Kaya nga iba nang sa teaching ko po yung sa Matthew na uh, those who uh, who look for a, a woman with lust yeah, the sin in her heart uh, in his heart. So yeah. talaga in-enhance siya. hindi niya po hindi niya po ino uh, yung obsolete yung mga commandments. Kasi uh, kaya po namin sinasabi to dahil sabi nga sabi ng mga ibang ano thinking is ala hindi na yan hindi na yan hindi na obsolete na yung Ten Commandments saka yung mga oh. commandments ng Old Testament nasa New Testament na lang New Testament na lang na ang, mm. ang sinusunod natin oh. so hindi po hindi po gano'n ang, ang yeah ang, and, and maganda tong comment din ni uh, Pastor Danny at si Sister Felix meron din ano, na, mm-hmm. na talagang uh, the laws of God reveals our own inadequacies eh. Mak- mm-hmm. marirealize talaga natin naku hindi pala talaga tayo mabait akala ko mabait yeah. na ako eh pero hindi pala you know uh, mm-hmm. i am a sinner uh, i really need christ kasi kung yes. wala si Cristo, wala wala tayong pag-asa it reveals mm-hmm. talagang the true nature of our of our heart yes. the true human yeah. condition ano? and talagang yes. we become aware uy mali pala yon mali pala to mm-hmm. and Mama. maganda yung sinabi mo rin brother John sa statistic kanina na Uh, and si PDV sinabi rin, okay, imagine a world kung sinusunod lang natin lahat yan. Di napakaga- what a wonderful yes. world. Sabi nga, yes. what a wonderful world. Um, kaya lang, dahil nga hindi ginagawa, that's why we have all of this mess no? sa mundo. Mm-hmm. So, yes. but, but once we uh, put our faith in Christ and we start obeying the laws of God, at least yung within our scope, no? pamilya, mm-hmm. uh, trabaho, sa church, mas nagiging maayos yung ating samahan, ano? Kasi yes. hindi na tayo makasarili. You know, sinusunod Amen. na natin ang mga panuntunan ng Diyos. Amen po. Amen. Amen. Ang gaganda ng comments nila. Grabe. Oh, pakibasa nga si Sir Christine comment ni Sister Felice. Ah, sabi niya, yeah, Reformation yeah. Theology yeah. has classified the uses of the law in our mm. life as mm. basis for civil governance mm. as a mirror to reveal our own ability to live up to them. Driver, anto, go boost to Christ as a guide for pure sanctification. Driving us, uh, yeah, driving us to Christ and as a guide mm, for yeah, pure yeah, sanctification. Yeah. Sabi nga yeah. ni PDB, the law give yeah. us awareness of sin. And also sabi ni Tracy, if yeah. we fail to po, to obey diba, sometimes, maganda. we can always go back to the feet of the cross and confess to the Lord, humbly mm. asking for forgiveness. Yon. Yun naman yeah, talaga yung yeah, ano ni goal yes. ni God eh, no? Talagang i-transform God, tayo yeah. day yes. by day from glory to glory. Kailangan lang may determination yeah, yeah, yeah. tayo to obey. Ayun. Galing, yeah, no? Right. Galing. Yes. Ganda po ng discussion. Thank you, Lord. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Lord. Oh, oh. Lord. Hindi <laughs> po yung aming senior pastor. Yes. Thanks. Everything po. So, uh, you're welcome na po. Thank you. you. I talaga. enjoyed our time. This is Sir Christine po. Napakaganda ng mga uh, reflection. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Buti na lang sa mama ako, nakasama ko si Pastor Albert. <laughs> uh, tomorrow po, Praise reminder na, mga, yes. meron po tayong uh, church service, uh, 8 yes. a.m. po, sa beginning sa mm-hmm. uh, Church Makati. Uh, Taglish po yan. And mm-hmm. then 10 a.m. po is uh, English uh, service po. Mm-hmm. And then it's beginning church, February Love Month po. Uh, yan po yung team namin. Mm-hmm. And then there's also 9 a.m. po sa... Um, Uh, beginning Church Malibay. Malibay. Uh, yan po. Uh, meron din po yes, kami service so dyan. And also sa Beginning Church Sukat po at uh, 10 a.m. ng umaga. Meron din po kami dyan service. Yeah. And any other reminders, uh, Sister Amy? Ayan po, meron kami harana. Hindi wow. ma- okay. Yes, ayan. Uh, ayan po. Uh, <clears throat> celebration po yan uh, up ng post-Valentines ng aming Beginning Church. February 25 po. 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. And uh, all couples po are invited dito sa Harana mm-hmm. Timan. February 25. So any, anything yeah. more? Uh, Sister Amy. Ayan po, Trot and Force eh, next Saturday. So 6, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So magkita-kita ulit po tayo next Saturday. And uh, before we uh, uh, end this uh, service po, uh, Sister Christy will be the one to close us in prayer. Aha, okay, thank you. Okay, let us close this in prayer. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We glorify your holy name, Father God. And thank you again for this time and discussions and doctrines that we are reminded, Lord God, of how important, Lord God, to obey your commandments. Lord, help us to reflect in our Amen. lives, God, the true follower of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for uh, giving us the freedom, Lord Amen. God, dito po sa, sa laws na ito. But at the same time, Father God, help us, Lord Amen. God, to... 
mirror Lord God, yung yung life namin Panginoon, is it really pleasing unto you Father God? Are we doing Lord God the things that pleases you? That that is in your heart Lord God. Lord, uh we always saying na uh, we love you Lord God. But let it reflect in our lives daily, Panginoon. Lord, ito pong commandments mo na ito, Lord God, if we will we will obey this God. Talaga pong, it give us a full life. But praise God to our Lord Jesus Christ. He came to give us full life. Na na-over, talaga pang na-overcome niya, Lord. Nagawa niya lahat ng commandments na to for us. And with that, Lord God, uh, thank you is not just enough, Lord. You know our hearts, Father God. And we just want to give back to you all the glory all the honor, Father. And it is one of our hope, Lord God, that you will transform us from glory to glory, Lord God, to be like your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for tonight. Bless all our viewers, Panginoon, and also the doctrine teams. We remember Pastor Danny God. We know that you will heal her, heal him, Panginoon, yung kanya pong um, uh, recovery, Lord God, and for Pastor Albert, Albert, Lord God, for giving us yung insight, yung guidance, Lord, dito po sa topic na to. And also to my husband, Lord God, na, I, na talaga pong I pray na mag-continue siya, Panginoon, to really Amen. use the gift na binigay Amen. mo sa kanya to teach, Amen. Lord God, your words. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name we pray. Amen. 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 Ah, oh, lang alam um, fan na fan talaga si Sister Lisa. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko alam bakit fan ako niyan eh, Pastor Albert. <laughs> Thank you po sa inyong lahat. Okay, God bless you. God bless, God bless po. Good night po. Thank you for God joining God us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good weekend po. Thank you, Ate Amy. Thank you, Ate Amy.